Ah, uh, me, I say life itself is the whole phase. This is whole. <laughs> this people, 45 years old, still whole. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the Dummy Effect TV. On this episode, the part two of the Can Curious Be Holes episode, we're going to be looking at two questions. What is the whole phase? And true or false, everyone must go through the whole phase before they get married or settle down. Before we jump right into the video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Without further ado, what's up, y'all? This is the Dummy Effect TV. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. You know what it is? You know what it do. <laughs> Hey yo, it's Jose. Catch me on IG at explicit underscore choose. Catch me on YouTube at Jose Orania. Come along with Swate. Yes, that's my name. Oh, my Instagram handle is double underscore Swate with a double E at the end. Uh, my, my name is Tapelo, but you can catch me on Instagram as at Loki Extrovert. Uh, my name is Zita. Instagram handle? Zalfinas with an X. My name is Sean, boy, uh, but you can catch me on Cash Crow on Instagram. That's uh, C-A-S-H-H-C-O-O-W uh, underscore S-A. My name is Charlene. Your Instagram handle? My Instagram handle is also Charlene. Uh, okay, uh, your Instagram handle? J-H-B. Okay, my name is Jabuno. On Instagram, it's Megatory, so it's N dot E G A T O four R's and one I. Hi, my name is Kim Bidi, but on Instagram I go by Kim, and you spell that like K three E's, four A's, and an M underscore. Add me. Oh, my name is Adam. Um, peace. Instagram handle? Adam X Osiris. Peace X Machete. What is the whole face? The whole face? Yeah. Um, it's basically when you go wilding and you, you know, basically wild with different people, multiple people. If you were a girl, you know you'll be wilding with multiple guys at once, you know? Basically sleeping around and doing all kinds of shit, you know? Sneaky links and all that kinds of shit. Um, the whole face is personally for me is like uh, the time where you come from your first heartbreak, right? So you come from your first heartbreak, and then you're on some now uh, fuck relationships. I'ma be, I'ma be for the streets, and you're on some um, for the streets for that for that certain time. Yeah, that's the whole face. A whole face is like. I'll make an example, let's say you leave a very long term relationship where you were entirely committed and then you got your heart broken and you decide now it's time for me to be a hoe. So you just change people like frequently in a short space of time. So it's a phase because it only lasts for a certain time. The whole phase. Oh, I think it's like that phase you go through in your teenage years while you're still trying to find your soulmate or whatever. So you go around testing products so you know which product best suits you you know <laughs> ah it's a lie <laughs> ah I me mean, i say life itself is the whole phase this <laughs> is whole this people 45 years old still whole yeah i feel it's forever i feel it's all in the mind <laughs> yeah uh, what is the whole phase <laughs> oh! Face. What is the whole face though? Like, for me, I, I would define it as like a phase after like probably like a heartbreak when you go through something, mm. then you go through like a couple of guys. Yeah, you find not like common some, interest in all yeah, of them. Yeah, all of them have like do something, not something deep, but something with them. And not a different time. And them not Same doing, level, about them not doing. So you must do it low key. Yeah. My plan, I like and then I feel, yeah. What is the whole phase? Yeah. When you feel like you want to fuck with everybody, you don't have that specific person you want to go home to. That's the whole phase, my nigga. Yeah. yeah. The whole phase is a... Uh, it's a phase where like... Where that everybody goes through, maybe if they're out of a, a a relationship and they feel like relationships are not for them, they just go through a phase where they just, you know, 
try having multiple sexual partners at once. <laughs> what is the whole face? <laughs> Okay, a whole phase, I think it's basically that period after maybe you've gotten like your heart broken and then you're just like, you know what, fuck it, <laughs> I'm getting it loose. <laughs> you know, and you're just out there with the girl and like, just getting lit, okay? I think that's a whole phase. A whole phase is also when someone's busy with like different people and is lying consistently of being busy with those people but is also but also considers themselves single. They don't even need to be like from a, a relationship. They can just like try or decide that you know what from this time to that time I'm just gonna have multiple sexual partners at once. That's a whole phase. It makes your whole phase next. Whole phase got you got you. It, it helps you strengthen your heart. So when the hands are fragile, next okay. is fragile. So when we when they you know not be <laughs> When they when they go through a breakup, they go through different guys to strengthen, like obviously for closure in a way, but to also strengthen their hearts to know what to look forward to in the future. That's why we have multiple guys to check if we're ready, you know, for the next step. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> True or false, everyone has to go through the whole phase before they get married. Oh, definitely, yes. <laughs> ah. True. True. Definitely true. Not, personally, not necessarily. Uh, yeah. I don't think so. Uh, false. Um, I mean, in some cases, yeah, you know, uh, why not? Like, there's some people, ish, our hearts are not the same. Yeah. And we don't deal with things the same way, you know. So, uh, some people don't need to go through the phase. Like, they can just break up with someone and stay single for, like, seven years. And then find their soulmates. And then next Okay, I, I, I'm going to go out into the world and say, I commend fuck buddy relationships. Like, with just one person. Like, this whole thing of all phasing where it's like multiple partners. <laughs> yeah, stop it. Stop it. Yeah, stop it. So, fuck buddy, if you're single, wouldn't be looking for a relationship until you're committed to that person, I would say stick to fuck buddies. I mean, otherwise, bitches would be cheating and shit. Like, I, of course, of course. <laughs> The whole phase, I think it's essential for everyone to experience like the whole phase at some point. It's good at some point. At some point it's healthy. And so it goes back to what I was saying that it depends who you hold with, it depends who you're hoeing for and what reasons you have to hoe. You know, you can't just be hoeing, hoeing, hoeing around. So yeah. Get it out of your system. You have to. So that you know what suits, what best suits you, like I say. Testing the product. Yeah, testing the product. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess, true. You get to experience other things before you settle, so... Okay. Because <laughs> not everybody needs to do it, you know. Some people don't have it in them to be hoes, you know. Some people are just naturally loyal. So not everyone needs to, but I would recommend that everybody goes through their whole phase before they settle down. That way they can get like all the hoeing out the system and then when they settle down, they just ready for that. But like not everybody needs to go. Everyone has to go through the whole phase True. before they get married. True. Why? Because if they don't go through that phase, then it's a risk for the marriage. Right. Because let's say, I've never going through the hoeing phase and then I get into a relationship and then I get married. My whole phase is gonna start in my marriage. I don't know if I make, I'm making sense. Yeah, you make sense. Yeah. You're making sense. So you just said uh, you haven't you haven't gone through your whole phase yet. Yeah. So if you get married now, you're definitely gonna cheat, huh? Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> 
obviously. So the whole face is important. Yeah. I mean, but like sleeping around, it's now another thing. As a female, I just feel like yeah, your body count should be like you know low, you know. Yeah. But as a guy, I feel like females don't even care what the fuck is happening, you know. The body how? count can be a hundred; they don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so how many body counts should your girl, the girl that you want to get married to, have? A virgin, to be honest. I would, I would, I would, like, you know, like a virgin. But, like, even if it's, like, maybe, like, one, you know, two, perhaps, it's understandable. If she's over those guys, that's, if she's over those guys, yeah. you know? True that, because if you don't go through the whole phase, you go through the whole phase in your marriage, my nigga. And that's not cool, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. If you, if you don't go through the whole phase before you get married, that just means you're gonna end up divorcing and being in the whole phase. So it's basically like a, a necessity for the all relationships or all, all human beings to say. Yeah. So you're talking about friends with benefits? Yes, basically. Can you, could you just also say that could be like a whole phase? Just one person. What is it? With just one person. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah, but there's no commitment. <laughs> yeah, there's no commitment, but, but you're not in a relationship yeah. with anyone else. It's just, it's just you, them. Yeah. Okay. Why do you look for something? So I feel like I know. That's just. Look, Bambi. Push and tie. You know. Yeah. Well. Kind of. It's the first time. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you. Eddie. Oh, this car's cute. Yes. Alright, thank uh, you. Thank you guys. Yeah.